And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm hoping we have our score widget fixed. Nope, just put it right here. So put seven up there. And put nine over there. And hopefully we are up and right and working. And it looks like we are. Do apologize about that, folks. But we're back up and having internet issues. That's what we figured out. So someone had again unplugged our internet so Ella Walker now that's a tough play there So up to set, that is the plant. And Walker with the big dig. This is set up by Shelton, and that's going to go long as Walker goes up and gets it. And 10-9, Thunderhawks. Uh, that first set, the Thunderhawks won 25-8, or that first game, I apologize. So game number one went to Grand Rapids. I know that we were having issues internet-wise, and you probably didn't see the end of that, and we do apologize. And serving is Gunnarsson. No, pardon me, that was not, that was Skelly. Good network there by the Thunderhawks as Barrick able to save on that attempted block. Walker puts it back up and over. Oh, big try to save there. So that point's going to go to the Thunderhawks. Number seven still, Peyton Skelly. 
That's a dig. Ward up and over and long. Okay, got you. Set there. That's set by Barrick and LaPlante. So hemming into the game for the Rails as we get that taken care of. Junior outside hitter. And Robert got way up, but a big block there by number 10, Barrick. And another quality volley for both teams. Big block up at the net for Hemming. So Hemming able to turn it over for the Rails. Taking a seat for the Rails is going to be manning in and into the game is Peterson. The libero for the Rails. Last I heard, it was a 0-0, uh, a nil-nil, sorry, uh, over on the pitch for girls' soccer with the girls playing two harbors. Same team, same school that uh, Proctor played last night. And that's going to go out off the hand of Rodberg as not able to get there and square up. As we talk about numbers, we talked about the fact that uh, Sammy Shelton, it looks like she's about 40, probably three now, set uh, assist points away from 1,000 for her high school career. Walker, soft touch, far side. This is picked up by the Thunderhawks. Big block up at the net by Hemming is there as well as Walker. Raya Ward will come out, switching is gonna be Lily Hart. And she will serve as she is the serving specialist for the rails. And Ryan Ward, one of those defensive specialists. Point going to go over. They're going to point. Uh, line violation on the serve. Uh, but we talked about numbers and how uh, Shelton's 46, uh, probably more like 43 now. Uh, also senior Ella Walker. 249 kills away from her 1,000th kill, and she is committed to play Division II volleyball at the University of Sioux Falls uh, next year. So congratulations to her. Hopefully she'll get those points. And serving for the Thunderhawks is Venditto, and that's going to go long. So now KK Hemming on to serve for the rails. Big strong serve, that is dug out. That was Venditto. Big kill there by number six, Lily Peterson, as R. Peterson not able to get there. Sub happening, coming out of the game is gonna be number 10, Barrick, and into the game is going to be Chloe Stuper, serving is Stuper for the Thunderhawks. Ups and goes. Hemming, able to get that up. Walker, Rodberg will just get it over for a set. Peterson. Walker tried to get back up there in time. One of those things that coach was talking about in those, in those uh, uh, short spaces making sure that they can get up and pick those short tips in and just a little out of place. Powerful serve by Stuper. Rodberg blocked at the net and reset. Shout Rodberg. Pardon me, that was Hart. And that's just gonna go backwards off the hands of Raya LaPlante. And subbing out is Stuper. And coming back in is Barrick. 
And then Barrick back out as the libero hits the floor. So Ellie Grease in for the Thunderhawks and serving is Walker. Peterson with the dig and the libero. Walker. Walker tried, thought she had enough to get that over, but right there fell short and Shelton just not able to get a hand on it. Dug out by Hemming. Rodberg, soft touch, double, and that's gonna go up and under the net by Peterson. So point to the rails. Hart will come out, and in is Ward. And that serve by Shelton is short. So just got an update from Terry Egerdahl Memorial Field where the Rails win one nothing on a goal in the 75th minute by Sophie Folkstead. So Fol Sophie Folkstead in the 75th minute with a, uh, to give the Rails a one nothing win over two harbors over on the pitch at Egerdahl. So congratulations to the Rails on a hard fought battle. So that uh, goes out and that'll go to the Thunderhawks 22-14 now. The plan to serve and does picked off by the hands of Walker and it kind of caught the spin and rolled out of and goes out of bounds. Timeout gonna, time gonna be taken by the rails. We're gonna take a quick timeout. We'll be back after a message from a few of our sponsors. FHA, different types of things. Potentials, lots of different options with the different loans that are out there. You know, what we'll do is we'll talk to you about your scenario, your situation. We'll figure out what actually works best for you. Um, but the key is what is going to be the most cost effective. So we will compare conventional versus FHA, you know, USDA versus, you know, FHA, different types of things that way. You know, sometimes even if you're a veteran, the VA loan might not actually make the most sense just because there are some fees associated with that loan that you might be able to do the same type of loan but do it cheaper with a different type of a program you know but again that's something that we will figure out you know we'll figure out the best scenario for you we'll give you the options but we'll obviously lead you in the right and most cost effective way to uh, purchase or refinance that help back out of the timeout taken by the rails 23 14 here in game number two the thunderhawks won 25 8 in the first game and the Rails trying to turn around, try to battle back here, down 11. Serving is Colby LaPlante uh, for the, pardon me, that's Olivia Gunderson. And a big try to kill there by Rodberg. And that's gonna go out in 24-14 and game point. Soft touch there by Rodberg and another set assist for Shelton. Should take her to 42-ish. So the Rails are gonna try to fight back. They're not gonna go quietly into the night here by any means. Rodberg, big power serve, picked up by Grease. Soft touch, now picked up Hemming, Shelton. Oh, big save there, and Skelly able to get it over, but number five, Vendito. Vendito not able to get enough of it, and point goes rail. Ah. 
Walker steps up into that one. Here's the set by LaPlante. Big kill attempt by Finkbone and big set up there. Manon and able to help the rails keep it alive. Nice block there at the front line by Manon and Ward on that first one. And Manon with that second one and point gonna go to the rails as they call a carry. Big kill attempt there by number five, Venditto, and that goes into the net and out into the hallway, out on the quarry tile, leaves the gym. And the student section for the rail starting to get into this contest, uh, talking about how there is a net there. Another big point by the rails and as the rails fight back now down five still game point for the thunderhawks rodberg out to go get it as rodberg is serving serve give picked out by greece Far right side, and that is going to go off the hands of Rodberg as she can't get there. And that is going to be the game, 25-19 in game number two. So uh, the rails will be back on air. Uh, we've had a busy week. We had girls soccer tonight uh, over at Terry Egerdahl Memorial Field where uh, Sophie Folkstead landed a goal with the with with uh, one minute, or pardon me, in the 75th minute for a win for the rails. Uh, we have volleyball here tonight, even though we've had a couple of uh, internet issues. We're here, we're rocking and rolling. Um, hold on one second, you can leave that up. He'll take it up and down. Sorry about that. I thought we were having a problem with our score widget again. I had to check in with our score person. Uh, that's Asa sitting to my right just to make sure that we weren't having an issue. Uh, we'll be back on air Thursday when the uh, Hunters from Dentfeld High School will come calling at the pitch over at Terry Egerdahl Memorial Field for boys soccer and a round out homecoming week uh, tomorrow, or pardon me, Friday will be the football game for homecoming against Cloquet. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of a home and a home game on Friday because Cloquet's been using our field for their home games as they get a new field, but it's our homecoming game, so it's kind of a home and a home. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we will be live tomorrow morning for the AAA Assembly where we will honor our fall uh, activity seniors. Uh, that'll be on, I think we're live at 8.30, I believe is the time on that. Uh, so tune in for that if you have a senior and you want to see what's going on. Also, again, want to give a big thank you and shout out to our sponsors. The Reed Foundation, the Rails Endowment for Academic Art and Athletic Development, Irving Community Club Polling for Kids, Tamarack Building Supplies, Highway 53, Hermantown, Heritage Window and Door, Superior, Wisconsin, Wittis Trailer Sales, Esco, Stream Dudes. For all your streaming needs, streamdudes.com. Great Lakes Office Solutions, the Robin Barb Shaler Charitable Foundation, Troy Service Center, Main Street, Proctor, Audiology Concepts with five locations, Superior, Duluth, Grand Rapids, Edina, and Burnsville, and Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop, Main Street, Proctor as well. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you to all of our fans tuning in, whether you're Proctor Faithful or you're visiting from Grand Rapids. We're happy to have you. Want to make sure we thank our students that allow us to bring this to you as well. Uh, our director producer tonight, Nathan Covington, want to thank him. Our camera operator extraordinaire, Nicholas Edelstead, and on scoreboard, and our technical guru, Asa Swanson, want to thank Asa as well. Thank you so much for everything that you do uh, to be here and make sure that we can do what we do. And it looks like we were going to have another issue, but it looked like uh, our producer director fixed it for us, so that's a good thing. That kind of started to scare me as our monitor that runs the machine went blank and I thought I was just talking to air again. So thank goodness I wasn't just talking to air, and that's a positive for, uh, well, 
Maybe it's a positive just for me because maybe they wanted to have just air. Maybe they didn't want to hear me talking. So Madden in out of the game and Peterson in as we start game three here. The Thunderhawks up three games to nil. Or pardon me, two games to nil, 25-8 and 25-19 were your perspective scores. Official Trevor Sundquist getting things in order, making sure the lineups are right and things are ready to go. Now grabbing that ball off the table and going to get things started. The Rails will have the serve, and in the serve is Lily Hart. Hart gives. And that is dug out by LaPlante. And not able to get there is going to be number five, Venditto. And so early point to the rails. Sir. And not able to get to that return was Peterson. So all tied up in one. Right out of the plant to serve and does. That's dug out by Rodberg. Shelton gets that up and over but goes too far and out of bounds. And so point for Grand Rapids. And serving again is LaPlante. Brian now. That goes into the net and the Rails fire up and now tied up to a piece. And trying to play that was Colby LaPlante. Just kind of caught it weird on her hands down towards the floor. The Thunderhawks try to save it, but able, unable. Goes out of bounds. And a point for the Rails, 3-2. Hemming the server for the rails. Walker saves that. Rodberg up and over. Digging that out was LaPlante. The libero of the grease goes up and helps. Shelton set. Rodberg, soft touch. And back up and over by Grease. Another set for Shelton. And dug that out was LaPlante. Big block there by Rodberg. Or pardon me, by Walker. Shelton. Walker. Nice volley here by the two teams. Far side, way to dig that out was Hemming. Great volley here. And they're gonna say that uh, in the net were the Thunderhawks and that point after that long volley is gonna go to the rails. Walker with the point. So the Rams finding a little bit of traction here and trying to fight back here down two. So that was an illegal back row attack, uh, they're saying. Out of bounds, an antenna violation there. Setting back over. Barrett, big block on uh, Finkbone was Walker. And timeout going to be taken by the Thunderhawks. First timeout taken by the Thunderhawks tonight. So a little bit of pressure as Coach Sutherland is uh, starting to feel maybe the first time uncomfortable here tonight. Uh, her team has played really, really well. Uh, and uh, trying to get things to settle down, knowing they're up two games to nil, uh, trying to figure out how they can bounce back here 7-2. A lot of time left here in game number three uh, as the Rails are trying to force this now to a five-game set uh, so that they can pick up the victory 
uh, coming into this 7-8-1. and one. They'd like to go to 500, 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, and uh, the uh, Thunderhawks looking at going 12-5 uh, and five, uh, if things stand, which the Rails are going to do their part to make sure that it does not. So coming out of the timeout, it'll be Rails serving. And Hemming to do the duty for the Rails. About three seconds left here on the clock. And they stop it, reset it, and Trevor Sunquist going to put them all back in. So served by Hemming. Dug out there by Grease. Coming on far side. Oh, nice save by Rodberg. Up and over by Hart. Oh, just through the hands of Rodberg and Walker with the kill was number five, Adrian Van Ditto. And they say number six, Lily Peterson is serving. Jersey looks like a five, but their, their numbers are kind of, Grand Rapids numbers when they're small are kind of hard to read. Yeah, so number it's actually number five, Vendetto. Vendetto, the server there, and got the ace. Dug out by Peterson, put back by Hemming, and up and over by Hart, and that's in. As going for it was Grease. She thought that was going to be out, but it caught just inside the line, and Peterson swaps out, and in is Manninen. Serving is going to be Ella Walker, senior. Good serve. Walker's got some power and able to save it was Rapids. That looked like that was going to go long, far out of bounds on the far side. Man in it. And dug that out was Barrick for the Thunderhawks. And point going to go to, that's going to call a two hit. Looks like they're calling that on Hart. And so the Thunderhawks will get a point, 8-5. Olivia Gunderson in to serve for the Thunderhawks, number three. Gunderson, a senior defensive specialist. Walker. Walker with the attempt and gets it. Nice set there by Shelton. And Hart out and Ward in as we are serving here. Whistle call. So Gunderson out and coming in is Barrick. And then the libero coming in for Barrick again as Grease is on that right back line. Good to see a strong student section here again tonight. Looking for some clarification are the Thunderhawks at the line as LaPlante was over trying to get some clarification. Coach Sutherland on her feet trying to get her team some energy. And Shelton to serve. And does, and that into the net as ducking was Skelly. So 9-6. Grand Rapids trails by three. Shelton set, Robert. And that is out, so point to Rapids. That is long, that serve by Finkbone. So 10-7 Rails. Rails holding on to that slim three-point lead here in game number three. Rodberg to serve. Picked out by Finkbone. Good save there by Ward. Up and over by Manninen. Coming this side. 
Another save there by Walker at the end line. That would have been in and pushed up and over. They're going to say that she carried it. Or two hits. Subbing in is Colby LaPlante and out is Lily Peterson. And Colby LaPlante to serve. Rodberg digs that out. Shelton. They say, they're going to say that she had a two hit again. It's not like Shelton to do that, so not like her to get called on that. Not sure exactly what she's doing uh, wrong there. Rodberg, Walker to get the set. And miscommunication, but up and over, but out of bounds. So again, the ra rails giving a point away to the Thunderhawks. Rodbrook, Shelton, Ward, dug out by Grease. And can't see, that was pushed up and over by Skelly. And the rails just can't handle it, goes out of bounds and now the Thunderhawks have their first lead here in game number three, 11-10. Saved by Manning, or set by Manning. Now Walker. And that one's a hard try to return. Rodberg off the hands and almost hits the scoreboard behind her. Timeout going to be taken by the rails. We'll take a timeout as well. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I really need to take care of a car problem. Questions? Can you handle all makes and models? Will you get me back on the road quickly? High-tech equipment? Competitively priced? Brakes? Batteries? Tire rotation? Body repair? Guaranteed? Complete engine overhauls. <laughs> okay, they check out. I chose the Heritage Window and Door because of their reputation and because of their renewal Anderson windows that they have. And their workmanship was fantastic. I'm so impressed. Your home is your largest investment. Don't waste your money on cheaper windows. These are the best. It's my money and I'm gonna spend it where it's gonna do me the best good and it happened to be Heritage Window and Door. They really know how to treat a customer. This has been an excellent experience. So back here at the rail yard, the rails trail two games to none and trailing in this third game, 13-10. Big serve there by Colby LaPlante and uh, then a big uh, kill by Peyton Skelly. LaPlante to serve again. Walker set up by Rodberg and just not gonna be able to get there as Hemming as the ladder was coming quick and she ran out of space. So 14-10 now, and still serving is number two, Colby LaPlante, a sophomore at Grand Rapids. That ball is going to go long and left, so out of bounds, so it'll be Rails ball, and in will be Peterson, out will be Manninen. That ball was going long and out, but deciding to play was Ellie Grease. And that'll give the rails a point and cut it to two. Doing a little bananas here. Nice block by Ward, but out of bounds and point to the Thunderhawks. Ward got up there and was able to get a good block. Just misdirected. Big serve there by Skelly. Walker. Skelly trying to go dig that out. 
Uh, pardon me, that wasn't Skelly that tried to dig that out. That was number two, Colby LaPlante. So taking the seat is going to be Skelly, and in now is the libero, Grease. And Peterson back into the game for the rails. That's picked up. Quick, easy two ball there by number 11, uh, Brian LaPlante. Pardon me, I think it's Brea. I apologize, Brea LaPlante. Big serve here by Brea. Nice set there by Shelton. And Walker able to get it over and Shelton doing her thing. So again, the rails keeping it at a two point game here in game three. And serving is Hemming. Dig out there by Grease. Nice attempt on the block there of Vendetto's return and unable to keep it on the other side are the rails. So 17-14. And serving is going to be number five, Adrian Vendetto. Vendetto serve. Off the hands of Hart and able to get it up and over and reset are the rails. Coming from the far side. Coming from the far, far, far side was, it looked like Finkbone. As she came from the right out of bounds line, came in and got the kill. And serving is still Venditto. Up and over from Hemming. They're going to say that was a four hit. And out is Peterson, back in is Mananen. As the rails are not going to, they're going to do their part not to let this slip through their hands. Big serve by Walker. Up and over and way to save it on for the Thunderhawks. Robert. And that is in as not able to get there is Vanditto. So 18-16, the Rails trail the Thunderhawks. They led this up until uh, it was 13-12 uh, when the Thunderhawks took their first lead of the game. Hemming, Shelton, Walker, and that's in. Oh, that looked like that was in from up here, uh, but uh, it was not. So coming in is Olivia Gr Gunderson to serve for the Thunderhawks. Gunderson's serve is picked up by Hemming and Shelton. And that one's going to go up and out of bounds as the Rails just cannot control that ball. Now it'll head out of bounds over by the fan section. And serving again will be Gunderson. So 2016. And that's going to go out. Gunderson's second attempt uh, for a point. Goes out of bounds. Gunderson will come out. Coming back into the game, it'll be Barrick. The libero will come back in, and Barrick will go back out. Rodberg in, and didn't see who came out for Rodberg. That's dug out by Grease. Far side. Nice block there by Rodberg and Maninen. As Finkbone tried to go up there and get a kill, but those two stepped up and had good coverage. So Shelton's serve falls into the net. 21-18. And subbing out is Finkbone coming in is going to be Annika Gross. So Annika Gross, number 13, into the game. First uh, floor time today. Picked up by Hemming. Push to the far side. This is Rodberg, and Rodberg gets the point.
So back into the game is Finkbone. Out of the game is number 13, Gross, for the Thunderhawks. That is dug out by Grease. Try to get a little soft touch, and both men at the net was Mananin and LaPlante. And then after that little battle, it's going to point going to go to the Thunderhawks. Colby LaPlante back in for the Thunderhawks. Taking a seat is going to be number six, Lily Peterson. And LaPlante will serve for the Thunderhawks. Good pick up there by the rails. Heming gets that up and over. And LaPlante really likes that quick second shot where everybody's kind of unbalanced. And uh, the rails will take a timeout. Want to take a minute here as we hit 23-19 here in, in game three to just make sure uh, we thank our sponsors and thank our students that are working for us. The sponsors are our, the Reed Foundation, the Rails Endowment for Academic Art and Athletic Development, Irving Community Club Polling for Kids, Tamarack Building Supplies, Highway 53, Hermantown, Heritage Window Doors, Superior, Wisconsin, Woodis Trailer Sales, Esco, Stream Dudes for all your streaming needs, streamdudes.com, Great Lakes Office Solutions, Superior, the Rob and Barb Shaler Charitable Foundation, Troy Service Center, Main Street, Proctor, Audiology Concepts with five locations, Superior Duluth, Grand Rapids, Edina, and Birdsville, and Proctor Pizza and Sub Shop, also Main Street, Proctor. Uh, if you get an opportunity, visit our sponsors. They take care of us. They'll take care of you. Let them know that you heard about it on Rails TV as we appreciate what they do. Also, uh, our students working tonight, our director producer, Nathan Covington, uh, our cameraman extraordinaire, Nicholas Edelstead, and on scoreboard and technical guru, Asa Swanson, we appreciate all three of you being here. Without these students, folks, we couldn't do this broadcast. So if you see them out on the uh, street or you know who they are, thank them because without them, we're not watching this. Big kill there by Hemming as the rails are going to try again, not go quietly into the night. And now 23-19, down three. And Peterson will come back into the game and Mananin will take a break. That goes long as there's good communication that time as you heard deep, deep, deep and able to pull off instead of playing it was the Thunderhawks. The barrel comes out and in is Barrick for Grand Rapids. Skelly to serve and picked up by Hemming at the line. And they're gonna, gonna say four hit. <laughs> And that is your game, 25-20. So there is your final scores uh, in three games. The Thunderhawks take it 25-8, 25-19, and 25-20. And the rails will fall to seven and nine and one. And the Thunderhawks on the bus ride home will go to 12 and five. Again, want to thank our students and our sponsors for being here. Want to thank uh, all of you that turned in, our Proctor faithful or anyone from Grand Rapids that joined us. We appreciate you being here. And we're glad that we can bring you this media. Uh, join us again on Thursday when we'll be live from Terry Egerdahl Memorial Field. Uh, we will have boys soccer when Denfeld the Hunters from Deadfeld come a calling. That game scheduled for a 7.30 start. A 7.30 start on Thursday. Uh, and so on behalf of myself and our students and our sponsors, thanks for uh, tuning in tonight. Uh, remember, we will be live on Thursday, 7.30 for soccer. Until then, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Number 11, number 11, mute me first. We're at a crossroads. From time to time, a section of rail needs repair, but that doesn't mean the whole line needs replacement. The same way being proud of your history doesn't mean you're stuck in the past. No, we're not stuck. We hear the whistle blowing and we're inspired. Inspired by the legacy of the people who transformed this terrain into a rail yard 
that supplied America with the ore needed to win world wars. We're inspired by our unshakable identity, hanging tight like David facing down Goliaths, and we're moved by stories of our community's kindness. No matter who needs help, neighbors pitch in and get the job done. Hushed and humbled are more at play than pontification, but don't for one second think that means Proctor is a simple small town. It was built as a company town, and it continues down the tracks of time. And this rail revival is our destination.